Okay. In this video, we analyze what are the conditions relating to additional depreciation. Now what happens is that we saw that the depreciation which is entitled to the assessee, there are rates prescribed within the Income Tax Act. Now in order to encourage, in order to encourage setting up of new businesses which is going to kind of generate more employment, the government of India came up with the concept of additional depreciation. In these cases, what happens is that if you are engaged into the manufacture or production of any article or thing, let me just read it out for you. A SESI should be engaged in the business of manufacture or production of any article or thing. So the idea here is that all the people who are engaged in the business of manufacture or production of any article or thing. So if you are engaged into service sector, okay, and you buy additional plant and machinery, then you are not entitled to this benefit of additional depreciation. So what happens? First, let us explain how is this computation done. Suppose you bought an asset for 100. Normally, suppose the rate of depreciation was 10%, you would get a depreciation of 10% of 100 or 10 on this asset in year 1. So this depreciation is always allowed. What is allowed as an additional depreciation is over and above this 10 rupees and now to whom is it allowed is it it is allowed to assess he should be engaged in the business of manufacture or production of any article or thing so it's only if you are engaged in the business of manufacture or production of any article or thing that you are allowed the additional depreciation and the second thing is new which means the plant and machinery new plant and machinery acquired after 31-3-2005. So the depreciation which is entitled is on a new asset. It is not on a old asset and that too only if it is a plant or a machinery. So if you acquire furniture, you are not allowed to additional depreciation. If you acquire an intangible, you are not allowed additional depreciation. You are allowed additional depreciation only in respect of new plant and machinery acquired after 31-3-2005. If someone had acquired any asset before this date, it was not entitled to additional depreciation. Okay? Now, assuming both these conditions are satisfied, then what? Well, then sum equal to 20% or 10% of actual cost of such plant and machinery. So suppose this asset was used for, let's say, greater than 180 days or less than 180 days. So if it is greater than 180 days, shall be allowed as a depreciation deduction in the year when the machinery is first put to use depending on the period of use, put to use for 180 days criteria. Now what does that mean? Suppose you acquired this plant and machinery in 2006 for 100 rupees. Your depreciation normal 10% is allowed to you. Now there could be two situations. The machinery is used for more than 180 days or less than 180 days. If it is more than 180 days, you are allowed a depreciation of 20%. If it is used for less than 180 days, then you are allowed additional depreciation of 10%. So over and above this depreciation of 10%, you are entitled to additional depreciation as well, provided you satisfy these conditions.